special thanks to Patreon supporter Bisky Niski for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft World War 2 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the L1500S LLG. This vehicle here is a modified uh, Mercedes L1500 uh, series vehicle back in the 1940s to be used as a fire truck. This here was used by the German um, military during World War II, and really there isn't a whole lot of information really regarding it. Um, tried finding some stuff about it here and there, but really there isn't too much um, in regards to it. There are some reference pictures here and there for it, but it's a pretty cool vehicle. Kind of an interesting, unique one, and something that we don't really have on the channel is any kind of World War II military era fire trucks. And uh, this is what this is right here. So kind of a cool vehicle. Should be a fun build to add in, especially if you have any German airfields or just any kind of German bases or anything like that where you think a fire engine makes a little bit of sense. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool build, uh, pretty interesting, and uh, I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Bisky Niski for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you guys are, do feel free to check my Patreon page, link is always in my video description, so where you can go ahead and uh, pledge a small amount to the channel every month, and in doing so, earn a video request you're choosing. really helps support the work I do on my channel, and is obviously greatly appreciated, so again, feel free to check it out, link is always in my video descriptions. However, with that, let's go ahead and take a look here at this vehicle. So. Starting off with, we have obviously the main truck unit itself, um, four-door unit, uh, it's got a ladder mounted on top, seems to be pretty standard with this vehicle. The little uh, blue uh, emergency lights, the, um, it had like a weird little spotlight right there, um, and then obviously the front here. Headlights, all that stuff, uh, it is a, you know, pretty good sized truck, some doors here for gear, all that stuff, and it's got this little trailer on the back here. I couldn't really figure out what this trailer was for, um, might be like a little water container or uh, transport trailer or could be for supplies not really 100 percent sure uh looking at pictures and stuff i really couldn't <laughs> figure it out um maybe a generator for the pumping mechanism who knows uh but yeah so that's this little trailer here that it tows behind so overall pretty cool little vehicle should be a fun one to add to your bases and all that stuff and Without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer here, we're going to go ahead and start with layer 1. For layer 1 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down two polished black stone stairs back to back to each other like so. And we want to go ahead and then go back from those stairs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 iron trap doors. And we're going to go ahead and then place down another set of two polished black stone stairs back to back like so. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down an end rod, come off this stair here, stone brick top slab, and another end rod. We're going to do the same thing here, end rod, stone brick top slab, end rod. After we have that done, we're going to then place down a polished black stone upside down stair on both sides, or sorry, polished black stone upside down um, stairs back to back, like that on both sides like we did uh, on the inner side there, and we're just going to place down a row of five iron trap doors across in between them, like that to fill that space in. Once we get done with that, we want to go ahead and then uh, skip a space, or skip two spaces back from that stone brick top slab, so one, two. In this section here, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab. To the sides of that top slab, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate to both sides and open it up toward the rear. Coming off those fence gates, we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign to both sides like so. And we also want to place down a iron trap door coming off this stone brick top slab, followed by an end rod coming off these fence gates here to both sides like that. After we have that all done, uh, we then want to go ahead and skip a total of two spaces again, so one, two, and we're going to go and then place down a stone brick top slab here. After that, we want to go ahead and take our stone top slabs, we're going to place down a row of three of stone top slabs across, followed by a stone top slab in the center, a block of coal to both sides, and then another row of three of stone top slabs going all the way across there. Once we get to this point, we're going to go and uh, get some banners. So this banner here is a light gray banner with a black border, and then a black line through the very center of the banner. We're we'll going to be taking these uh, banners here and placing on both sides here of those blocks of coal to go ahead and kind of make the wheels look a little bit nicer. After we have that done, on the very back here, uh, we do actually want to replace the center uh, top slab here with a stone brick top slab. We're going to then grab ourselves item frames, white beds, and also a red concrete block. And for this, we're going to be going ahead and 
placing down an item frame or two item frames across here. A white bed in the middle item frame turned sideways and then a red concrete block over here to the item frame to the left. If you're on Java, we can also take dark liquid signs and place them down on the sides here of those slabs as well to kind of create a cool look there for the back. If you're on bedrock, you're not able to do this feature. And if that's the case, just go ahead and do the item frames and not the signs. Anyways, uh, that right there is going to finish off layer one for us. Taking a look at it from above, this is what we should have here for this layer once you have that complete. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for layer number one for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to go ahead and get started here, we're going to go to each one of these polished black stone stairs here. And we're just going to place down two stairs basically on top of these, back to back like so. After that, uh, we then want to go ahead and take our stone full blocks. We're going to place down our row three across these stairs here in the front. And we're going to place down a stone block coming off the middle one like so. We then want to place down an Arabic stair to both sides of this stone block and then a second narrow brick stair coming off that block out to the sides there on both sides. On the sides of the narrow brick corner stairs and the stone full block there in the center we're going to place down three black or sorry three dark oak wood signs going across like so. After we have that done uh, we want to go then take our stone brick walls we're going to place down a stone brick wall to both sides here and in this middle space here we want to go and place ourselves down a anvil. We're going to do the same thing on top of the stone brick top side here an anvil and a stone brick wall to both sides and we then want to go ahead and connect our snow brick walls together by going ahead and building toward the front like so and same thing over here just like that and we'll just go ahead and put some uh, cross braces here by putting some stone brick tops or stone brick walls across there to kind of create a little bit more of a chassis type design there for the vehicle now once we get to this point here we want to go ahead and then place down a nerve brick stair to both sides on top of those iron trap doors like so and we're going to place down dark liquid signs on the sides of those narrow brick stairs, like so. Same thing over here. Just like that. We then want to take our stone stairs. We're going to place down a row three of upside down stone stairs. And like we did on the sides of those other stairs, we're going to go and place down dark liquid signs along the front of them. So just like that. After that's all complete, we then want to go ahead and go to our back section here. We're going to go and place down additional stone brick wall going back on the sides there. And then a stone brick wall again, followed by one that's in the middle there, like so. And then a nerve brick stair on both sides like that. For the very back here, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of light gray shulker boxes across. And then a stone block to both sides like that. Over here to the left side on the stone block, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame. We're going to place down an item frame on the stone block here. Place a white bed, rotate it on side. And again, if you're on Java, a dark liquid sign on the side of that block. And we're also going to go ahead and place down a stone button on this shulker box over here to the right side. After that, we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves a skeleton skull. We're going to place down a skeleton skull on top of this iron trap door, followed by an end rod that comes off of it. And we then want to go ahead and place down a um, skeleton skull that's going to be above the space, so just like that. After we have that done, we're going to take our stone blocks. We're going to place down a row of three of stone blocks. A stone block in the middle, followed by an upside down stone stair to both sides. And we then want to go ahead and place down a light gray shulker box in the middle here. And then a stone full block to both sides of that shulker box. Also coming off that shulker box, we're going to go ahead and grab a trip bar hook. And we're going to place down a trip bar hook coming off like that on the end. And once we have that all complete there, that is going to wrap it up for this layer. Uh, one thing we can do also here is place down a lever here. Have a flick back to connect up to the uh, trailer there a little bit. So something like that. And with that, that's going to complete what we have here for this layer. This is what it should look like from up above here. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with, we're going to place down a stone block on top of this one here, followed by a ladder coming off that uh, stone block. We then want to place down an andesite wall to both sides like so, an item frame coming off those walls, and then a snowball in those item frames, just like that for the front headlights. After that's done, over here to the left side of the vehicle, so this side here, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on top of that narrow brick stair. We then want to place down a narrow brick slab on both sides there, going back uh, on top of those polished black stone blocks. And then we're going to place down a row three of stone full blocks going across that section, like so. Now, once we get to this section here, uh, we're going to be going ahead and then taking our stone blocks and we're going to go and do a narrow row three. We're going to go then place down an inside wall to both ends. After that, we're going to place down our inside wall back on both sides, and we can fill the inside in here with stone as well going across. Now, once we get to this point here, we're going to place down a row of five 
of stone blocks across with a tripwire hook on both ends. We're going to go ahead and place down a second row of five, followed by a third row of five, and on this third row of five, like we did for the first row, we're going to have a tripwire hook on both ends. And we then want to go ahead and place down a fourth row of five. This row here is going to have a polished black stone button to both ends. And we're going to have a, uh, one last row of five, so you have a total of five rows of five going back like so. We then want to place down two rows of three down the center here. And we're going to then place down light gray shulker boxes on their sides coming off those ends. We're going to then place down a stone block here in the corners. Um, on the left side here, or sorry, the right side, rather, we're going to place down a, a lever facing upwards. Then we're going to place down one, two, three light gray shulker boxes on their sides like this. A stone button coming off this one here to the right, and the one on the left here, we're going to place down a trip bar hook just like that. After that's all done, uh, we then want to go ahead and go to this back section here, this trailer. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three polished inside stairs, one, two, three. And we're going to go ahead and place down three stone blocks uh, in the middle there. And just so we don't have to worry about it later, we're just going to take rails and just place down a row of three of normal rails on the top there to go ahead and finish that trailer off there on the back. And with that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for uh, this Slayer. Actually, one thing also, uh, we do want to go ahead and give ourselves a debug stick. So we'll go ahead and use the, de the uh, give command and we'll give ourselves a debug stick. And what we're going to do here is we're going to be going ahead and building off to the side of this wall. And we want to grab ourselves a lever. And we're going to place down a lever on the side of this block like this, and same thing over here. We're going to go and then take our debug stick, and we're going to change the facing to basically line up with this wall here. So it's going to kind of look like it comes off the wall. We can go and then delete those blocks, and then on top of those levers there, we're going to place down a skeleton skull here at a very slight angle like that on both sides there for the side mirrors. So kind of a cool little trick there to do that, and... Um, Looks pretty nice. So that right there is going to do it for our side mirrors, and with that, that's going to complete layer 3. Let's move on to layer number 4. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 4. For layer 4, to begin with, we're going to place down a iron trap door on top of this stone block here. After that, we're going to place down a row of 3 of black stained glass panes across, followed by a light grey stained glass pane there in the corners. Now, uh, the walls will kind of get messed up here, so and in doing so, will cause our levers to break, so we'll just have to go have to we're just going to have to go back and replace them doing the same method that we were, did before. So it should look just like that. Anyways, once we have that done uh, and fixed, we're going to place down a row of three of black stained glass across, stained glass pane to both ends. And after we have that done there, we then want to go ahead and place down a row of stone blocks. So a row of five going across like that. The middle here we can fill in with some black concrete like that. So a row of three of black concrete and stone blocks like that to kind of fix that and it does look like our levers did break again because the wall to the next to it changed so again kind of a pain pain in the butt sometimes but we'll just go ahead and replace our levers again luckily it's a pretty simple fix um, so just like that anyways once we get to this point here uh, we then want to place down a uh, two rows of five of black concrete going across we're going to then place down a row of five of stone blocks followed by a second row of five the second row of five is going to have a polished black stone button on both sides after we have uh, that done, we then want to go ahead and grab our polished andesite um, blocks. And we want to go and place down two rows of three polished andesite blocks there in the center. And then to the sides here, we're going to place down two light gray shulker boxes on their side with a trip bar hook on the side of this shulker box here. Same thing over here. And then uh, across the back here, a stone block in the corners and a row of three of shulker boxes across like that. We're going to place down a stone button here on this shulker box there, and the lever on this side flick downwards like that on the right side. And once we have that all done there, uh, that's pretty much it for the structure for the build. We're going to go ahead and grab some materials and uh, make these banners here. That would be on the side of the vehicle there to kind of make our windows look a little bit nicer. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to making those banners. Alright guys, so to make these banners pretty simple, we're just going to need a loom, two black banners, and four light gray dye. We're going to go ahead and go into our loom, place our black banners in our light gray dye. We're going to go in for our first uh, banner here, do the line vertically on the left side of light gray dye, and then we're going to do the line on the right side vertically for the second banner. Each one of these banners we're going to place back into our loom, and we're going to split it in half with the light gray being on the bottom. So uh, split it in half horizontally, light gray on the bottom, and same thing here for our second banner, like that. We get these two banners here, and on the black concrete blocks here, we're going to go and place the two banners uh, like that so that the black is toward each other and then right here for this front section We're gonna go ahead and place down this banner here So the black is kind of toward that window there to kind of help expand the window slightly 
And we're just going to do the same thing over here on this side with our uh, banners. So you should get a design that looks like this here for both sides of the truck. Anyways, that right there is going to complete layer number four for the build. And with that, we're going to go and move into our final layers, which are going to consist of layers five and six. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into layers five through six. For these layers here to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to take our daylight detectors. We're going to place down a row of three across those black stained glass blocks. And we're going to change these to the night mode. We then want to place down an item frame coming off these two um, shulker boxes like so. We're going to place down blue concrete in those shulker boxes. And again, if you are on Java, we can place a dark liquid sign over them like that for the flashing uh, lights there. We then want to go ahead and go to the side here on top of this glass pane. We're going to place down a fence gate, open it toward the front. We're going to go ahead and then place down an item frame and then a snowball in the item frame like that for a spotlight on the vehicle. After we have that done, uh, we want to go and then place down a stone slab. So if I can get a stone slab, which will be over here, uh, we're going to place down a stone slab here in the middle, followed by another brick fence post to both sides of it. And I did break my uh, light here, so let me go ahead and just fix this real quick. So just like that. And we want to go and then take a skeleton skull, and we're going to place down a skeleton skull here at a slight angle, so something like this on both sides there of the vehicle. After that, we're going to place down a narrow row of three stone uh, slabs across, a daylight detector both sides, again turn to night mode, and we're going to go ahead and repeat the same pattern a total of two more times. So two more rows of three of stone, and our daylight detectors here on the sides, and turn to night mode. We're going to then place down a stone block in the center, an air brick fence post to both sides, daylight detector turned to night mode on both sides. We then want to go ahead and grab some polished black stone slabs. We're going to place down a 2x2 two two square in this section here, followed by a skeleton skull in the, on top of the two corner stone blocks, and then we're going to place down two end rods going forward from those skulls, like that connecting up to those daylight detectors. We're going to go then place down an air brick fence post on both sides on those shulker boxes, and then an end rod in between those fence posts like so. Once that's done, go ahead and move it into our ladder here. We're going to place down a stone brick slab on top of each one of these narrow brick walls, or narrow brick uh, fence posts, I should say. And we then want to go ahead and basically go and start on the back here. We're going to place down two oak wood slabs going back, then fill in the space between these stone brick slabs here with a row of two of oak wood slabs, and then we're going to fill the space in with a row of three. And then going forward here, we're going to fill the space in, or we're going to go and extend three out from those last stone brick slabs. After that's all done, we just want to go and very simply take our end rods and just fill in the space here in the middle between the slabs all the way going toward the front with our end rods like that to go and make the ladder. On the sides here, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab some item frames, some white beds, and some oak wood signs. We're going to place down one, two, three item frames on the side there. Put white beds in those item frames. Rotate them on their side, and we're going to go ahead and place down oak wood signs on the side here like that to go ahead and create that design. And same thing over here. So our white beds. And again, if we're on Java, we're going to add the oak wood signs to the side here as well. And let me fix that bed. And once we have that all done there, that's going to pretty much wrap up my design here for the L1500S LLG fire engine used by uh, Germany during World War II. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this build and are able to put it to good use. It's a bit of a unique build and something a little bit different. So uh, hopefully it does serve your uh, worlds pretty well. And uh, with that, if you do end up using the design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. It's going to be the from a sign of the build to to my channel or this um, uh, video. If this does uh, appear on any social media sites, just as long as you guys give me credit for your free for project you guys are working on. Uh, again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter Bisky Nisky for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2 before, and I'll see you guys next time.